So you guys saw me earlier <clears throat> using the pen tool. I'm going to show you in more detail how to use it. Sorry, I went for it really brief. Um, I forgot to mention, though, that you're going to be using the space bar to get that sucker to work. So let me show you how that works. So let's go ahead and change our view real quick. I'll go to the top view here, or side view, I should say. And I'm going to go in here and go to edit. In edit mode, I'm going to choose on the pen tool. Now the pen tool, as you hit the space bar, as I click, I need to hit the space bar. And you'll see you're able to make pretty much anything you want. But keep in mind, um, when you make these we using your brush tool, you can um, you have to actually texture it the way it surfaces itself is per face. Now, if there is a way to do it, please someone post. I haven't been able to get the whole object to take the material. Um, just kind of a pain in the butt. So let's go in here. Let me do large screen. Click on the space bar. And uh, let's go non-uniform scale. And you can also control the extrude depth as you initially create it. Uh, create convex um, polys here. You know, Utiki is nice enough to explain that. So if true, the, the tool will try and optimize the resulting triangles into convex polygons before creating the brush. And the reason why that's just easier for collisions, it makes it so it's a little more optimized. You can turn that off, but sometimes you might run into a little bit of problems when running to that object. Um, you can also, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't get emotional over this stuff, but every once in a while, it really gets me home. It's home. So let's go in here. I'm going to hit uh, add. We can add that guy. And you notice now we have an object. Pretty cool. Let's get our builder brush out of the way. So let me go and select him real quick here. And I don't want to move my vertices just yet. So let's go and uh, go to out of uh, edit mode. Let me uh, hit my widget tool. Move this guy out of the way. And the cool thing about using the edit tool, if I go to the edit tool, I can click on aspects of this particular object notice in the perspective sometimes it can be a little bit of pain in the butt but outside of the perspective I can grab this guy and I can move him around I can edit it point by point vertice by vertice if I want to so I can deform this guy even more <clears throat> now if you want to get multiple ones um, you can hit control and you can move it into a different direction if you want to um, you can also just individually click on them and perspective is the most effective. Sometimes when you do it in the side view, you'll notice it'll grab multiple ones. In the perspective, you can also hit control and grab multiple ones. We're on local mode, so you can also switch that to world if you just want them all to move at the same time. And I go and move these guys around. And the cool thing about that, let me control Z, once I move and grab that particular object, I have to move it. You'll notice that it's not going to update. So you have to rebuild your geo. I'm not going to rebuild light and we'll have some warning about you didn't rebuild your light. But you'll now see the geo rebuild itself based on my movement on that object, which is pretty cool. Let me do control Z and put that back. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you can't do it because I already built it. Son of a gun. So we'd have to go in there and just manually move it back to its original position and rebuild again. Yeah, so it commits. Forgot about that. I was thinking I was in my regular builder brush, and we're actually brush results, and I can move it back. So you just got to be careful of that, and that's why it's good to keep this guy around because you're like, oh, I screwed this up. That's not what I wanted to do. That's got to hurt. So you can go and delete that and just go to the next one here. Um, uh, the next video, I made this one real short. We'll talk about some of the more editing tools that you can do. And yeah, that's about it on this one. Pen tool, ladies and gentlemen. Hitting the space bar.